Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers Studio Series review thanks to the team over at Robot Kingdom. In today's video we're taking a look at the Studio Series 34 Dark of the Moon Megatron. Uh, very much looking forward to getting this figure in hand. I got him along with Jetfire, both leader class figures and both reasonably good size. Side of the box we have Megatron in all of his glory and on the back of the box we have Megatron in his bot mode and in his vehicle mode we get a picture of Jetfire and we've also got the backdrop which is included with all of these Studio Series products. And here we have him out of his packaging displayed on his stand. It's a remarkably good sculpt. Uh, it's not screen accurate. Uh, there's a lot of kind of jagged edges and uh, strong lines around the shoulders, which wasn't present in the Dark of the Moon version of Megatron. He was actually quite fluid and had lots of rounded parts, but uh, they've done a good job building us a Transformer that resembles his screen appearance and actually still transforms. His diorama is of his secluded African base. And he's got like parts laying on the floor and it's nice. It's nice to get these dioramas. And here we have them compared to the original Dark of the Moon Megatron. As you can see, uh, they've improved it somewhat. Uh, they've done a lot to it. I love this kind of chest area. I've done a much better job. And the paint as well. We actually get paint on our figures. Now this was originally classed as a Voyager, maybe in the deluxe, uh, but either way it is small. In comparison, this is a good leader size figure by today's standards at least. Now getting up close and personal, I absolutely adore the head sculpt. I love the fact that they've got the battle damage. Now I know they've done the Revenge of the Fallen Megatron with this kind of battle damaged head as well to kind of bridge the gap between the two. We get his little helper who just crawls around trying to fix him. Uh, what a strange looking little chap. And I must apologize if you hear drilling in the background. Our neighbors are having their front door replaced and my window basically backs on to their front door. So I am competing with the builders. Uh, the arms on these are incredibly loose. Uh, to get any real range on them, they do tend to pop off. I think it's mainly just to say that you have a little creepy dude that hangs around on Megatron. But I do love this little guy. He is pretty awesome. But Megatron, oh, what a beauty. Hey, yes, I know there's kind of a truck there and more of the truck here. Uh, it's not ideal. And I've got to the point now where I'm picking this up and I am thinking there's things that could be improved. You know that you're going to get third party companies, etc., that will fill out all of these gaps and just finalize the figure. It's really nice to get cloth with a Hasbro figure as well. It's kind of a nice mix of materials. Love what they've done with the head though. Bravo. He comes with his boomstick, his shotgun, can just tab in. Now the shotgun just tabs in to his hand like so, but personally I don't like how it's tabbed in because the way you have it in this arm, you then get all of the kind of unpainted section on the outside. Really this needs to kind of be reversed so that this part here is on the outside or at least he could hold it in this hand which he doesn't really have the ability to do because I mean it's a pretty nice looking shotgun it's just those final tweaks See, they've given us a really nice looking Megatron but so why skimp out on his weapon and if you happen to still have your ultimate Optimus Prime the one that comes with the bigger armor then I believe these scale pretty well I know Prime's not meant to be as tall as Megatron uh, Prime's 28 feet, I think, and Megatron's 33 or 34. But these still look pretty darn good together. That's a fairly nice scale. Megatron's shotgun kind of 
fits in Prime's hands. And here he is alongside the Fallen as well. I know it's Revenge of the Fallen and then Dark of the Moon, but to give you an idea, uh, again, I think that works pretty well. <laughs> Take his cloth off and this metal chain, which is actually made out of rubber, untabs from all four corners and comes off his chest. Uh, this is Megatron in his bare but naked form. You know, that, that's, that's not horrendous. It's not horrendous. I mean, the articulation is pretty good on Megatron. We get up and down, left and right. No real down-down motion, though. Arms go around, up. We get not one, but two bends on the elbow, partly due to transformation, but I'll take that as a win. Uh, the hands kind of pull apart, and they go up and down. This hand, again, kind of pulls apart. It's got flex. Uh, they can go up and down independently. Again, got that double joint. Uh, we almost get a butterfly joint where this angle here can be brought round. Waist is a fixed unit, and there we go. Just now get a better view of what I mean by this section here is very hollow and can do with being filled. Legs can come forwards on friction, back on friction, just out to the side. There's no upper thigh rotation. There is a knee rotation, and we do get a kind of double jointed knee. We get the ankle pivot and we get the knee pivot and then we get some rotation on the toes to give the illusion of a wide stance and we get some up and down on the heel spurs. So it's not amazing but it's definitely enough to get a very kind of imposing version of Megatron on your display. Right now let's transform him up into his vehicle mode. The backs of his legs these are going to come untapped and come down. They just literally pull down and extend like so. Yeah, you want to bring these all the way down so that they're facing the bottom. Uh, the knees are going to rotate around on both sides. This section here flips up like so. This tab here opens up. Open up this part of the truck, bring it all the way around to so its halves in and then bring that around to the side and this foot panel piece is going to fold up up and then over and then this tab here just slots in here now repeat that for both sides the front of the cattle grid with all them spikes on there that can pull down and then you want to just bring these in and they can tab together and it tabs together just here on the legs as well. It's a shame because this looks really nice from the front, but it's just so, so hollow. Bring this panel piece down. That just all folds downwards. His head then folds in to that torso piece. And you can see there's a waist section. This is gonna roll forward and tab in, which then allows this section here to roll upwards and making sure that the knee hinges are both facing up. So there's a slight kink in those knees. This can then go up and that's then just gonna go and push and lock and tab these pieces all in like so. And this whole back piece here is gonna come away from that shoulder tab and that's gonna lift up and tab and sit square. Then we can just drop the shoulder inside. That's gonna slide on the underside and up and over. Latch over both sides. This piece here can come out and that's going to rotate around. And from here, this will collapse these will come down like so. And then this will close off. There's a tab just here. That's gonna line up with this section under here. And this one here is gonna line up with this hole under here. So that goes in there. Just pushing and tabbing those in. So again, on this side, that's gonna line up. And there we go, that's starting to come together. 
We then drape the tarpaulin over the back and then these come up. And if you look on the underside here, there are these tabs, there's one there and one there. One there and one. And that's kind of now just a chain on the back of that gas tank. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. And for those of you that are using this Megatron to fill your dark of the moon void, uh, it scales really well with the deluxe class figures. Uh, they look really nice together, especially Prime. I think that uh, works exceptionally well. And here he is alongside his original counterpart, uh, vastly, vastly, vastly improved. Heck, we even get the little truck hood ornament as well. There's storage on the underside there for his shotgun. And here we have this little dude just floating around on top. Uh, mine doesn't really want to sit as square. My wheels keep popping under there. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. In my opinion, this is, at uh, the present time, the very best version that transforms of this Megatron. Chances are we may get a release from the likes of Black Mamba or Wei Zhang. Uh, but for now, I think this is a very good Megatron. If you collect the older Dark of the Moon figures, it looks perfect with those. Same sort of aesthetic, albeit they've got these gloriously lovely paint applications added to them. As far as leader scale goes, he is on the smaller side, um, barely bigger than the olden day Voyagers, but unfortunately that is how the line and the toys go these days. Uh, less plastic is more money. Until next time, from myself and the Megatron, thanks for watching, goodbye. <laughs>